Today I'm going to show you how to make this adorable ladybug design on a homemade stone from Gypsum Cement. There's a link in the description if you'd like to learn how to make stones like this for your own rock painting. Now that I've got the design lined out, let's go ahead and take this bright magenta pink paint and I'm going to outline the top part which will be the head of the ladybug and then the bottom part that will show under the wings. This may take a couple of coats just because these homemade stones can be a little bit porous and so they soak the paint up and you want to make sure that you have a nice bright color and lots of good coverage. So there will be a couple of coats on here. Next I'm going to take this light pink and go ahead and fill in the wings on the ladybug. So both sides of the wings this will be kind of the, the larger base coat of the design. Now I'm going to take this black Posca pen and outline everything that we just base coated with color. So the head, the wings, I'm going to give this design a little bit of definition before we start adding the accent details. So the first detail that I'm going to add is this hologram glitter paint. This is a nice clear glitter paint that catches the light really beautifully once you get resin on the stones. So I'm going to cover all of the wings of the ladybug. So all of the light pink basically is going to get a coat of this hologram glitter paint. I'm going to correct my previous statement. I wouldn't call this clear glitter paint. The glitter is actually iridescent and that's why it catches the light so well. The next step is going to be to take some black paint and then some varied sizes of dotting tools. I like these mandala dotting tools for this because they're numbered and you can kind of sort through them to pick several different sizes. So I'm going to start with a larger dot and I often will tap the dotting tool to get the paint to settle down and have good coverage on the dotting tool before I add the dots. And then I'm going to take a paintbrush to just kind of swirl any peaks out of that paint and then go down to a smaller dotting tool and another smaller dotting tool to add some random ladybug dots. Next I'm going to take some white paint and a fairly large dotting tool and start to add the eyeballs to the ladybug. So I'm going to go ahead and place these and then swirl out the peaks with a paintbrush and then you want to make sure that you let this dry fully before you go for the next color. So for my next color, I'm going to use this bright blue kazoo. It's really pretty. And then I'm going to measure to see which dotting tool I want to use because I want it to take up a fair amount of the eyeball but still have some of that white showing. Now I'm going to take some black paint and add the pupils to the eyeballs and then I'm going to take a very small nail dotting tool and some white paint and add a couple of accent almost like reflections I guess in the pupil and this just really brings some life to the eyes. It's very cute. Now I'm going to take my Sakura Pigma fine brush pen and add some eyelashes to the eyes and then go ahead and also outline around the eyes. And when I was doing the eyelashes I got a little overzealous and crossed over into the white part of the eye a little bit. But that's okay, you can come back and fix it um, with some white paint after you're done outlining. You can really see how cute the eyes are and how it really brings the design to life. And now she's got a smile and we're going to add some rosy cheeks to add a little bit more character to this design. So cute! I'm going to come back to those numbered mandala tools to add some dots along the wings on the back side of the ladybug that gradually get larger with black paint. It just adds a nice little accent to the back and now you can see this little sparkly ladybug catching some beautiful sunlight outside. 
If you like this video, why not watch another one? I've got some options for you on the screen, along with that subscribe button so you don't miss future uploads. Thanks for stopping by, and I will see you next time.